After what feels like years, we got some new footage for the wrestling code. It's called the wrestling code episode six, sleeping giant. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is my first reaction. Is that uh, King Kong Bundy, right? All right, all right, all right. Here he is, man, walking in an empty room. Why don't we have new arenas? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's just watch what's going to happen. It's very sweaty. It's very sweaty. Oh, okay. Screaming and all that. Getting into the ring. Is this a whole ass cutscene? No, we got the crowd finally. Or is this... Are we seeing the first ever entrance, I wonder? Yeah! Alright. You know, you have to keep in mind that this is an indie game, but oh. We're gonna get back to it. We're gonna get back to it. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna play the video all the way through and then I'm gonna go ahead and give you my analysis and afterthoughts. All right. I mean, I do enjoy the facial expressions and the crowd looks pretty decent. Looks like um, the updated version of It Comes to Pain games, you know? Push the weaker opponent, just incredible. Ooh, we got to look at Tajiri. And who's that? Oh, Zach Gowan, okay. Bam. Um, Cabana Man Dan, we got Raven up in the house. Okay, so they're showing a whole bunch of people this time. Was this New Jack? <laughs> I'm sorry if he's not New Jack. It looks like him, I'm not sure. Vampiro from WCW. Huh. Make it a five count. So, what do you want to talk about? Okay, we got Mr. King Kong Bundy here and look. The way the game looks and every now and day once they did some facial expressions in this video. They look okay. The graphics wise, especially when this is an indie game, it looks okay. The only problem really that I found. Well, you see that right there is an MC spot. There's a void of space right between his cheeks. Now you might be asking Mikero, why are you looking at this man's cheeks? Well, come on, don't tell me. You didn't do the same thing, come on now. Like, look, it's it's quite obvious as a matter of fact, especially when the angle is that low to make this guy look bigger. But anyways, the arena I found to be interesting. I'm not sure what kind of a design this is. It's definitely a cheaper looking arena. And there's this heavy fog as if we're playing Deus Ex from 2011. I'm making a video about that, by the way, if any of you are interested. The entrance is okay. The only thing I will say is that, and speaking of his cheeks, he looks like he just took the biggest <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like he's just took the biggest shit in his life. And that's how he's walking. That's a real problem. Okay, look, look. Check out how he walks, okay? See this? Oh my god. Sometimes I take the biggest dookies ever, for sure. And this is how I walk too. I don't know if you walk like this in real life, but it comes across as weird in the game. The animations. And we're going to talk about those animations a little bit more once we get to the moves part. Uh, but the other thing I want to talk about is... He does... Whoa, here. And then the same exact sound bites. He does it like three more times. Here. Same sound bite. And then once he does the last one, he, it's a bit different. But listen, listen. What, what's going on? You know what I mean? It's just very low quality. Seems like it was recorded by the first microphone that was ever invented. The crowd, I talked about the crowd during the live reaction, I guess. I said and it looks like an updated version of uh, Here Comes the Pain, a little bit more like that. It's you know, somewhere between Here Comes the Pain and the new, the you know latest WWE games, which again, for an indie game, I have no problem with the graphics, to be honest with you. What they showed before and what they showed with a sweaty... Mm, Mr. Uh, King Kong Bundy here. Are we in like a sauna? Because he didn't even have a match yet. Like, how was he this sweaty? The ring, the details did not look good, but yeah. All right, let's get to the gameplay part, which we're not even sure if this is gameplay. This could be, and more than likely it is, a whole sequence of moves that were just recorded with motion capture, and this is not representative of what we're going to see in the game as moves goes, because if it's the case, well, let's look at it. First of all, 
I mean, the connection is all weird. It's not even connecting here. And then he gets pushed off. You know what I mean? It's it's. There's no impact. Boom. There you go. Barely any impact. It seems like he's floating over the ring instead of falling onto it. Then we got Tajiri here. This is the best thing I think about this trailer. I love Tajiri. And again, his model looks great. But you, I mean, the beard and the lighting actually looks like a kind of a bit of a Unity game. But you're in a bear hug right here, Mr. Tajiri. I don't think he minds too much. So I think he's used to this. Maybe his mother or his grandmother used to, you know, that's how he <laughs> handled them back in the day. Yeah, Tajir doesn't give a crap. But then let's I mean, pay attention to how he falls again. And we're going to have better examples here as we move on. But the King Kong Bundy has a face, facial expression and it looks great. What about Zach Gowan? What about him? He's like, you know, he's like waiting at the bus stop. All right, when is my bus going to arrive? That's the facial expression he has, uh, which means he has nothing. At this point, this is the cell he's given us, right? Uh, his face is still... I'm okay. <laughs> so that's a bit of a problem, man. See, again, look, once they do the facial expressions, graphics wise, I got no problem with this game, to be honest with you. 99% uh, of it graphics wise, I'm okay with. Uh, they gotta remove this weird, uh, like, lighting though, or whatever this is, this fog. But again, moves not being impactful. This is a perfect example. What is that? You know what I mean? This seems like the game just has no impact. Bam. It looks a little better, but again, it just feels everything feels featherweight, if you get what I mean. And so the service, again, this, like he's, he's falling way too slow, in my opinion. At least there's some camera shake and stuff like that. And this animation in general is just weird, and they hit us with this. You know, again, like they hit us with this. Hold on, give me a second, and I'll tell you what they hit us with. Yeah, <laughs> just give me a minute, okay? Here's what they hit us with they go. Hardcore! Hardcore! Like, whoa. This, come on, dude. You get better mics. I'm sure you have enough money to get a microphone. Whoa! It's like, come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. This is the roughest that the game has ever been. That I've, that it's ever looked. Like the fifth trailer with Scott Steiner and everything like that. It was cool, but look, you know me for being honest, right? Sometimes you actually call me too much of a complainer, but I just tell you what I see right now. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm not BSing you. I'm not telling you to like this just because I like it. I'm not telling you to dislike something just because I dislike it. I just give you my opinion here. And I don't think I'm being negative here. I, again, I'm literally just showing you, explaining you the obvious. I'm saying, you know, a bus is coming towards us because a bus is coming towards us. That's that's what I'm doing right now. And guess what? I would love to be more forgiving to this because, you know, I want every game to succeed in competition. Every competition, all competition is good competition. But the fact is, all we've seen for years now for uh, from this game is more roster reveals, more roster reveals, more motion capture and no gameplay. And what we see here, is it gameplay? Is it motion capture? We still don't know. We know pretty much the same thing about the gameplay of this game that we knew two, three years ago with this video, nothing has changed. So that's a bit of a problem, man. That's the biggest problem, as a matter of fact. And I guess I doubt this is gameplay because look, right? I mean, look at the ring. We don't even see a referee. Everything is obviously, you know, not everything, but a lot of things are edited after the fact. Are we going to have commentary? What are we going to like? The devs themselves said, if we don't have anything nice to say, after what happened to AW Fight Forever, we shouldn't say anything at all. And first impressions are everything. And if this is the first impression that somebody's going to get for your game, it's 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 not the greatest, man. I get it. Game development is hard work and I'm like, certainly don't want to, you know, just for no reason crap on the game. But again, I'm, I'm just being honest. It just, all of this makes me ask a question that a lot of you seem to be asking. And that is, is this game real? But if you want to learn the answer to that, or if you want to learn pretty much everything we know so far about the wrestling code, check out this video, I think right here. And, and you'll, your hunger will be satiated. Okay, with that being said, I'm getting out of here.